What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Hunting Rocks. As always, I am your hunting guide, Jeff. I'm out here today with my buddy Dustin of Dustin Finds Rocks. We're going to be checking out a creek here in St. Louis. We've had a whole lot of rain lately. We've had some big flash floods, which means this creek here, Gravelway Creek, has definitely had some amazing stuff come washing down through it. So let's get down there to the creek. Got my water boots on. Let's see what we can find. All right, guys, give me an idea of how much this water was rushing down through here. Last time I was down here, this was not a hill over where Dustin's at. It was kind of flat like this. Now, it dug out a pretty good hole right through here. Last time I was here, this was dry. And that divot there was not nearly that deep. There's a bunch of fish down there right now. Uh, well, I don't know if my boots are tall enough to let me walk out over there. The sand push-up was also not here. So, I'm going to see if I can get over there without getting too wet. Yeah, the water here is definitely over my boots. So I don't think I'm going to be checking that. But I am going to check this up here and see what nifty things have washed down the stream. And I am out looking for some Union Road agates today, both for myself and to send to my buddy Ragnar Rocks out in. Oregon, I think he lives. So, let's see what we can find. There's a nice piece of chert. That's actually kind of pretty. Let me, let me rinse this off a little bit. Yeah, I like that. That'll go in the bag. But going to make my way back down to where Dustin's at and I think we're going to walk downstream. I think that may be our best bet. Just grabbed a nice little fossil of a shell here. Looks like it may be a fossil day for me. I don't know. It's all right. Fossils are cool. Well, here's some more. Here is a uh, that's coral. That's actually really cool looking. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put this coral in the bag. And Jeff just found what I believe is that might be Union Road agate. That might be a Union Road agate. Oh, you guys are gonna have to subscribe to Jeff's channel and see him cut that open. Look at that right there. That it's got some nice crystallization in it. Yes. Yeah, man. Nice fine, dude. Okay, <laughs> I got I gotta find one of those. <laughs> Oh, here's some more fossilized coral. That one's all right. I'm gonna leave this one, but it's still got a neat look. You can see the colonies right through there. So, I believe Dustin just found his first Union Road agate of the day. Pretty That's sure there's pretty some crystals cool. in there. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's gotta be good. Yeah, I'm excited. So much wash out of stuff. It's unbelievable. This is like this is like hunting a new area. Yeah. I am You're I'm loving this. Really good, man. Oh yeah. Now this means to tell me that with the Union Road agates we're finding up here, because we are about a mile away that way from where the Union Road is, where Union Road agates were originally found. This means to tell me that there is actually more than one spot. Now we are on the far edge of it, but we've had a lot of material washed down this way. So I think the old idea of where Union Road agates were found, it's not 100% correct. You'll notice my eyes keep darting over here because I'm looking at something. Let me turn off the camera and I'll turn it back on once I get there. All right, it was this rock I saw. It's definitely not a Union Road agate, but it was round, but it's far too light. 
this that's just the concretion so let's keep going down the stream we're gonna find some good stuff we're gonna find a lot of good stuff so I came back over to my bag and uh, I set my bag near a piece that's got some druzy quartz on it but even more impressive is this druzy quartz is also inside a coral this is coming home with me I'm cutting this open for sure this will look really really neat inside I knew we would see some crazy stuff here. how bad was the flooding got a dumpster Dustin spotted the blue one I don't know how I missed this dumpster. Yeah, there's a couple dumpsters. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's, let's take a look. Let's see if there's anything inside. Somebody's throwing away perfectly good water. That is really weird. Dustin just found a big chunk of melted plastic that kind of looks like a cow pie. So, Union Road cow poop, everybody. It's brand yeah, new. It's the coolest thing that? out that's, there. That's different. We'll, we'll leave that for a cow pie collector. <laughs> we should throw it in the dumpster. <laughs> yes. So, I think we're going to throw this uh, cow pile here into the uh, dumpster that we found. Always clean up after yourselves, folks. So not 100% sure what this is. Looks kind of neat. I'm going to take it home and give it a cut. See what it looks like. Checking this water a little bit. Keeping my camera up high. Don't want another incident like I had at a haunted ridge where I smoke the one. But uh, what do we got here? Oh. Wow. Okay. We've got a couple of potentials here. That's cool looking. I might throw those in my bucket. I don't know. There's probably not anything in there. They're probably just chert modules. It's a big chunk of chert. Got some staining. I may cut this. Union Road agate? Question mark. Won't know until I get home and get it cut open. It's kind of a neat looking rock. It looks like it. It's definitely the chert it's got good weight to it only one way to find out like I said I can't cut open all the ones I find I gotta send some to Ragnar but I gotta make sure I get enough for him because with uh, Union Road agates it's about three percent that have something good in it so you find a hundred rocks hundred Union Road agates and you might get three out of it I know there's been times where I've done it and got none out of them and you've seen my videos I like to come down here and hunt now, I haven't been down here after a big storm like this and I'm pretty impressed by what all has moved around and in fact my uh, my bag is getting a little heavy so I'm gonna have to have to be a little more uh, cautious as to what I pick up um, I'm not sure what this is. It's blue. Is that blue chalk? The heck do I have here? Some kind of weird melted crayon? I don't know. Alright you guys, let's flip this one over see what we got. Oh, uh, nothing. Nothing at all. It was almost a Union Road agate, but didn't quite make it. Starting to see more sign of Union Road at, oh, here we go, here we go. This is a big possibility. Look at this UFO looking thing. Oh yeah, yeah, let me get the leaves off of there. You're going in the bag. Just pick this up off the ground. Due to its weight, that's a high probability of a Union Road agate. I'm hoping when this gets cut open, it's pretty inside. If not, it'll be a solid piece of chert. 
And all my rocks that I don't like, I just toss them under my pool deck. One of these days, it's going to be all rocked up, and I won't have spent a single dime on buying rocks. Well, besides, you know, gas money. I say I'm frugal. My wife says I'm cheap. Nah, I don't know. Comment down below which one you think's right. So as always on Gravoy Creek, as I'm heading back to the vehicle, I look down and look at that colony. That's cool. Oh yeah. Yeah, Heck yeah, yeah. Man. yeah. Here, that's a that's, good one. That's going in the bag. I just spotted this golf ball. And Jeff just spotted his own golf ball. Look what else I spotted here. Just found a really nice golf ball. That is gonna go in the bucket. And Dustin found a golf ball about the same time. Got this piece of coral. That's a good one. That's a good piece of coral. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, taking that. Heck yeah. Alright, I guess since uh, we're not gonna pack out either of those dumpsters, I'll pack out this golf ball. I'll take my golf ball. Maybe we should go play a game of golf. We could. We could. We both found a ball. That's all you need, right? What an interesting chert nodule. It almost looks like bone. It's it's not, of course. It is banded. This is kind of cool looking. I think I think I might take this home. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, well, that's two massive chert nodules. This one and this one. That one doesn't have promise. This one might. Oh, and it's got shells in it too. It's got brachiopods on it. Cool. I wasn't gonna take it, but well, now I got to. Holy crap, you guys. I just found probably one of the best rocks I've ever found down here in Gravelwood Creek. He I did. I'm in St. Louis. I'm in St. Louis County. I am not near Washington County at all. This was laying in the creek. I saw this little part of it and I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I started moving it. Well, once I got it picked up, it got even better because on the back side, it's a coral colony. Insane, man. Insane. Look at the size of this thing. It's it's bigger than my damn head. That's that pretty is, big. That is awesome, Jeff. That is epic. Oh man. All right, this. Whew. And it's fairly clean. I mean, I'll have to get it home and get a little of the gunk off of it from the creek. But, dude, this is phenomenal. That is amazing. Well, it looks like it's not going in the bag, but I'm going to carry it. Okay, yeah, definitely time to go back to the truck. Yeah, yep, it's truck yep, time. Yep, We've, okay. Heck yeah, dude. All right, you guys, here we are back at the house. I got the stuff out of my bag, situated on the table a little bit, show you some of what I have. Here's a piece of, one of those pieces of coral I found. Now, I did slice it open. I still have to polish it, but give me one second. I'm going to dip it in some water. And that is why I want to polish it. Look at that. That coral slices up so beautifully. Piece I didn't cut. This is one of those nodules I found. I did cut it. Right now it doesn't look like much. Hit it with a little water though and once that gets polished that'll be nice. I don't think this is a Union Road Agate. This is just a uh, chert nodule, essentially. This is probably a Union Road agate, but I haven't cut it because I'm probably going to mail this out. Uh, one of the pieces of chert, of course my golf ball. The big piece of chert that I need to work with. Another one of the coral pieces find the good side of it. Let's give this a little dip. This one's not as nice but you can see some of the lines from the coral. Once this is uh, once this is polished it'll look really good. 
and now it's time for the piece you've all been waiting for. I'm going to set it out in the sun. It's been soaking in bleach water to get all the ugh from the creek off of it. Uh, we'll get this into the sun and let's check out that big monster piece I found. And here it is. It does have some uh, little bit of little bit of damage, but that's to be expected. This is the part that I saw when I pulled it out. But the crystals in there are just phenomenal. Trying to keep the uh, trying to keep my shadow off of it. Let me flip this over real quick so you can see the other side. And there it is. There's the coral colony. In fact, the coral runs all through here. There's little bits and pieces there. There's bits and pieces on the side. This, this is an amazing, amazing piece. Uh, I am gonna polish the sides sooner or later. I have some polishing pads I'm gonna hit Hit the sides with it, smooth it out. That'll really bring out that agitization right there. But yeah, this this was a phenomenal piece. And of course, there's Hamilton. What do you think about the piece, Hamilton? It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, he's happy about it. Well, guys, that's the video for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I can get a like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I hope to see you the next time I'm out hunting rocks. Have a good one.